I think right now uh, the front line of freedom is effectively Taiwan. 结束台湾访问行程前，澳洲总理艾伯特转往华府参与智库二零四九的研讨会，不可避免的被问到：如果台海爆发冲突，澳洲会不会介入？艾伯特表示，澳洲很难置身事外。As a democracy of 25 million people, Australia can hardly be indifferent to the fate of another democracy of almost 25 million people. The ANZUS Treaty, in the event of an attack on either of our countries or Their armed forces. We will act together to meet the common danger. So I think you can assume that where America is involved, Australia will be involved. 艾伯特表示，尽管大陆希望能不战而胜，但不能排除东亚爆发严重军事冲突的可能。尤其现在，北京对台湾采取战争边缘政策，情势可能很快升级。像是对台湾采取封锁手段，将很难避免。I think right now、uh, we've had a lot of buildup from China, a lot of capabilities coming online, them exercising those capabilities in very provocative ways. So we need to regain deterrence through our own shows of will and and support for Taiwan. But also we do need the mechanisms to to try to communicate effectively with China. We certainly don't want a war that we stumble into. Through an incident or accident, 大陆和台湾先后提出加入 CPTPP 的申请。艾伯特指出，北京在世界贸易组织占便宜，又把贸易武器化对付澳洲，不认为任何有自尊心的澳洲政府会支持大陆加入 CPTPP。TVB 新闻黄松普尼家辉，美国华府报道。想扩大国际视野，掌握趋势，请订阅专门报道国际新闻的 YouTube 频道 TVBS 国际 Plus， 记得要开启小铃铛哦。